August is Breastfeeding Awareness Month. While we often hear how it's best for a baby's health, experts also want moms to know they understand it can be challenging. In tonight's Two Year Health, 13th Melissa Bruner shares their advice. It might be natural, but it's not always easy. That's the message nurse Laura Odom gives moms at Stormont Vale's breastfeeding clinic. It's a learning process, being patient with yourself and just giving yourself a bit of grace to know that this is new for you and your baby and you're both going to get there. The clinic offers support to nursing moms for as long as they need it. Weight checks help answer questions as to whether baby is eating enough. 7.6.2. Every person is different. Sometimes you want to eat two tacos, sometimes you want to eat three. So we always say, put them back for dessert, let them have as much as they want, nurse on demand, um, but then kind of give some, some guidelines of, it should be at least those eight to 10 times a day. And staff can guide moms through developmental changes that change eating habits. Just when you get the hang of something, they throw you for a loop and have growth spurts and cluster feeding or um, maybe aren't sleeping as long as they were. The clinic also offers advice to working moms, one focus of this year's National Breastfeeding Month. Odom says most insurance companies provide breast pumps and workplaces are expected to provide a clean private space with a door that locks and adequate break time to pump. The clinic can guide you through the more personal details. Here's when we should start pumping to store that milk so you have a good storage supply once you return. Um, and then how much do you feed the baby when you're awake? Odom says it's worth it because of the benefits breastfeeding provides for babies. It's perfectly matched nutrition, so it has exactly what they're needing, um, full of really good calories and nutrients and vitamins. And for moms? There's reduced risk of um, ovarian and breast cancer later in life. Um, fewer sick days at work because your baby's not sick as often. Odom says several community groups also offer resources, including the Breastfeeding Coalition and La Leche League, so moms shouldn't feel alone. There's a lot of people in your area that want to help you and support you. Melissa Bruner, 13 News. Cute baby there. Stormont's breastfeeding clinic is free for any moms who deliver at Stormont, and it's a one-time $35 fee for anybody else. They have monthly breastfeeding basics classes. The next is September 19th. You're also invited to learn about all the resources and more at the Welcome Baby Jubilee. That's coming up September 10th at the Posez Education Center. Find further details on that at the health page at WIBW.com.